Skoda Superb Review. Our rating. 5 Star. Skoda's flagship Superb ditches the old car's awkward looks for sleek styling, plenty of space and value for money. 4. Crisp styling, safety technology, huge boot. Against. Loose body control, no sub 100G slash KM model, only 3 year warranty. Skoda's handsome new Superb is a revelation if you're looking for a large family car with a premium feel and an affordable price tag. To drive, it's comfortable, quiet and relaxing whether you're in the front or the back, and can even be hustled along at a fair pace with the optional adaptive dampers set to sport mode. It's easy to live with too, with a hatchback that opens onto an enormous boot. The practical interior has an upmarket feel, and there's a range of efficient and refined engines. Throw in generous equipment levels, an array of safety tech and the all-important 5-star Euro NCAP safety rating, and the biggest Skoda becomes hard to fault. It was even honored as the 2016 Family Car of the Year at the Auto Express New Car Awards. Our choice. Skoda Superb 2.0 TDI 150 SE Business. The Superb as the name might suggest, is Skoda's flagship model. It sits at the top of the range and is designed to offer all the space, refinement and quality of a premium saloon, but at a cheaper price than you may expect. The Superb takes aim at the more usual family fare of the VW Passat, Ford Mondeo and Mazda 6, but the massive space and premium feel mean it can compete quite happily with the likes of the BMW 5 Series or Mercedes E-Class, despite those cars being much more expensive. Don't be fooled by the practical hatchback design of the Superb, as it's every bit as much an executive saloon as the competition. This is the first Skoda to have its underlying architecture based on the VW Group's modular MQB platform, which means it weighs up to 75 kilograms less than its predecessor, despite being longer, wider and taller. In fact, this is the third generation of Superb we're reviewing here. The first, 2001-2008, and second, 2008-2015, generations were both built on stretched versions of contemporary VW Passat platforms. Rear passengers in this latest version can enjoy masses of rear legroom, while the boot on the saloon-shaped hatchback model is enormous, offering up to 1,760 liters of space with the rear seats down. If that fails to accommodate your goods and chattels there's an even larger estate version available too. The Superb's four-cylinder petrol and diesel engine models are focused on low running costs. They can be fitted with a manual or DSG auto gearbox, and front or four-wheel drive. A 1.6 TDI Greenline option has longer gears, it comes as a manual only, low rolling resistance tires and aero tweaks to improve economy and drop C02 emissions below 100 g km. In true Skoda style, the Superb's interior is crammed with clever ideas, like umbrellas stored in spaces in the doors, as per the latest Rolls-Royce models, and an ice scraper hidden in the petrol filler flap. The latest safety technology, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist and park assist, is all available on this Skoda flagship model too. The Superb comes in five trim levels, starting with the S entry model. This is not lavishly equipped but does feature electric windows and mirrors, height adjustment on the front seats and manual air conditioning, plus a DAB digital radio, Bluetooth, and a 5-inch color touchscreen. The SE ups the ante significantly with a chrome grill, climate control aircon, cruise control, rear parking sensors, an upgraded 6.5-inch touchscreen-operated infotainment center and the all-important Brawla in the door. SE Business and SEL at Alcantara and Leather Upholstery, plus SAT NAV and Drive Mode Selection, while the range-topping Lauren and Clement model has an even bigger touchscreen, plus a 10-speaker sound system, electric front seat adjustment, dynamic chassis control and a host of other luxury features. The high-spec Sport T-Line model adds tinted windows, a black grille, 19-inch alloys, and a subtle body kit that makes it looks particularly sporty.
With the most powerful petrol or diesel engine under the bonnet, it's the closest thing to a superb VRS. Engines, performance, and drive. 3.9 star. The superb is a refined and comfortable cruiser, but don't expect sporty dynamics. The superb's mission is to be an executive limousine for the masses, so the focus is firmly on comfort and refinement ahead of pin sharp driving dynamics. And whether you're wafting around town or cruising quietly along the motorway, it's clear that Skoda has done a great job. Refinement is noticeably better than its predecessor, especially with the quieter petrol engines under the bonnet, making it a relaxing way to cover big miles. Four-wheel drive versions grip harder when the weather turns nasty, but front-wheel drive models feel just as planted the rest of the time. Adaptive dampers are an option that cost around £800 and offer a dramatic effect on the superb's behavior as you toggle through the three settings comfort, normal and sport. In comfort it floats over crests and DIPs, while the nose has a tendency to bob, and body control is too slack for fast cornering. Sport tightens everything up, but feels a bit too brittle on poor surfaces and with the 18-inch wheel fitted to top-spec cars. Normal mode then, is the best compromise for everyday driving. If you want to save money then the manual gearbox is perfectly adequate, but we'd recommend stretching to the 1,400 pounds DSG Auto that adds another layer of sophistication to the driving experience and suits the superb's laid-back character. Engines There's a decent range of engines available in the superb, but they're all smallish four-cylinder units and mostly focused more on economy than out-and-out -out performance which isn't surprising as at least 70% of customers are likely to be fleet users. Diesel options start with a 119bhp 1.6 liter engine, which takes 9.9 .9 seconds to reach 62 miles per hour and has a top speed of 129 miles per hour. The Sprint slows to 11 seconds with DSG auto transmission or in tax-efficient green line trim. The 2.0-liter TDI comes in 148bhp and 188bhp variants, the former offering 0 to 62 mph in 10.9 seconds with manual gears, 8.9 seconds with DSG, or 9.0 seconds with four-wheel drive. Top speed for all three options is comfortably over 130 miles per hour. The punchier 188bhp 2.0 TDI does 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.0 seconds with a maximum speed of 147 miles per hour. The 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint time drops to 7.7 .7 seconds with DSG, or 7.6 seconds with 4x4. Generally speaking, the diesel engines don't clatter, but buzz away under the bonnet and provide good in-gear punch. Our favorite is the 148bhp 2.0 TDI, which strikes the best balance between performance and economy. Petrol options include 124bhp and 149bhp 1.4 liter TSI variants that do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 9.9 .9 seconds and 129 miles per hour or 8.6 seconds and 137 miles per hour respectively. A 2.0 liter TSI unit is available in 217 bhp or 276 bhp guises, both with DSG, the latter with 4x4 only, which offer 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.0 or 5.8 seconds and 150 mph and top speeds. Our pick of the petrols is the 1.4 TSI with cylinder deactivation technology as it's whisper quiet, pulls strongly and has a decent big rate for company car users. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4.1 star. Low purchase prices, cheap running costs and class beating depreciation make the superb a winning formula. For such a large, luxurious car, the Superb shouldn't cost much more than an Octavia to run. The most efficient Green Line model is powered by an 118bhp 1.6 TDI with CO2 emissions as low as 95g km, and can be had for as little as £20,900 in basic S trim, although for greater value we'd recommend the SE business trim level at £22,255. The economy potential is excellent too, 
with 76.4 mpg quoted for the combined cycle. The next cleanest superb is the DSG equipped non-greenline 1.6 TDI with fuel economy and emissions of 68.9 mpg and 105 g/km. The manual version has the same fuel economy but emits 3 g/km more, identical figures to the 148 bhp 2.0 TDI model with a manual gearbox. Looking further up the range, even the 187BHP 2.0 TDI manual model returns 68.9 mpg and 107g slash km, although that jumps to 61.4 mpg and 119g slash km with the DSG box and 56.5 mpg and 132g slash km if you want four-wheel drive. The entry-level petrol model is a 123BHP 1.4 TSI, which manages 52.3 mpg and 125 g slash km and costs from 18,640 pounds, 50 pounds less than the previous generation entry level model. A clever new 148 bhp version of the 1.4 TSI featuring cylinder deactivation technology is also available, returning from 57.7 mpg and 115 g slash km, while the least economical models in the range are 217BHP and 276BHP versions of the 2.0 TSI. Insurance Groups The 1.6 TDI is the cheapest superb to insure thanks to a Group 12 rating, although the green line is Group 13. The mid-range performers fall into Groups 18 19 while the 187BHP TDI is Group 24 and the performance flagship 276BHP 2.0 TSI is Group 27. Depreciation In June 2015, CAP compared the likely depreciation of the Superb to the Ford Mondeo, Hyundai i40, Vauxhall Insignia, Citroën C5, Toyota Avanzas and Peugeot 508 declaring the Skoda the clear winner. Depending on model you can expect to keep 40 to 49% of the original price after 3 years. Interior, Design, and Technology 4 Star The latest Superb has the looks, and the tech, to launch it to the top of its class. In the past, the Superb has been the ugly duckling of the large family car class, as Skoda's efforts to maximize interior space left its flagship with some ungainly exterior proportions. However, the latest version has shaken off its predecessor's dowdy image and gone for a bold new look. At the front you get a pair of eye-catching swept back headlamps which feature distinctive LED signature running lights if you specify the 1,295 pounds optional by Xenon units set above distinctive trapezoidal openings. Look down the flanks of the Superb and you'll spot a number of bold creases, as well as the brand's trademark kink in the rear pillar, while at the rear you'll find lead tail lamps. All versions get alloy wheels as standard. In profile, the newcomer has a sleek and stylish look, yet despite its saloon car proportions the superb features a versatile hatchback tailgate Skoda has ditched the old car's twin door mechanism, which was complicated and heavy. Overall, the newcomer has its VW Passat sister car beaten hands down for curb appeal, especially in the cool looking sport T-line trim. The company hasn't just limited the upmarket push to the exterior, because inside the Superb is more than a match for the VW. It features a slick design, a thoughtfully laid out dashboard and plenty of high grade materials, and has a real premium feel. Look closely and you'll find much of the switch gear has been carried over from the Passat, while all the plastics you can see and touch have a soft feel. The fit and finish is first rate, while a wide range of adjustment on the seat and steering wheel makes it easy to find the perfect driving position. As you'd expect from Skoda, there's plenty of standard equipment. All models get DAB radio, air conditioning, and Bluetooth connectivity, while SE business models, our choice of the trims, add dual zone climate control, parking sensors, a touch screen sat NAV system, adaptive cruise control and privacy glass for the rear windows. SAT NAV, Stereo and Infotainment All cars come equipped with a dash-mounted touchscreen, with S models getting the basic 5-inch version, 
SE's getting a 6.5-inch unit and SE LS and LNK models boasting a superb 8-inch affair with a feature-packed Columbus SAT NAV. The LNK model also gets an impressive 10-speaker Canton sound system, but audiophile owners of lesser models can upgrade for £600. Practicality, comfort, and boot space. 4.8 star. A spacious cabin, vast boot, and plenty of practical touches mean the Superb is easy to live with. Once you've got over the acres of space that make sitting in a Superb feel like relaxing in your living room, it's time to cast an eye over some of the clever practical touches. Useful features include a parcel shelf that can be slid behind the rear seats when you need it out of the way, a removable lead torch in the boot and a grippy cup holder in the front so you can unscrew bottle tops with one hand. Like the Octavia and Fabia there's an ice scraper hidden in the fuel filler cap, while iPad holders can be fitted to the back of the front seats and there's an iPad cradle in the storage bin between the front seats. Big storage bins in the front doors, and slightly smaller ones in the rear doors, improve thing further, as do cup holders in the pull-down central armrest in the rear. Features such as lane assist, which nudges the steering automatically to keep you between the white lines, and traffic jam assist, which steers, brakes, and accelerates for you at slow speeds in jams, help to take the stress out of long journeys. Size The Superb's roomy interior is one of its most attractive features, but Skoda hasn't employed any trickery the Superb is a big car on the outside as well. At 4,861 mm it's nearly as long as the 4,899 mm BMW 5 Series. By comparison the Passat is 4,767 mm, and although the latest Mondeo is actually a few mm longer than the Skoda, it can't match it for rear passenger or boot space. Leg room, head room and passenger space. If you thought the previous Superb was cavernous, prepare to be surprised. This new model is larger in every direction, and while there's no more legroom, there really wasn't any need to add any, elbow room and headroom have increased both in the front and the rear, so three adults can sit in the back with space to spare. In fact, the only car the VW Group produces with more space in the back is the long wheelbase Audi 8 limousine. Boot the boot in the third generation Superb has grown by 30 liters to 625 liters with the rear bench in place. Fold the split rear bench down using two levers in the boot and space increases to 1,760 liters, which is 323 liters more than the Ford Mondeo hatchback. The space is deep, wide, and extremely long with the rear seats down, so chucking a couple of bikes in there would be easy even with all the wheels attached. Unlike its predecessor, which had a tailgate that could be opened like a saloon or a full hatchback, there's now a much simpler and lighter one-piece hatchback that's electrically operated as an option, and can be opened by waving your foot under the bumper. Reliability and Safety 4.5 Star The new Superb is the safest Skoda ever built and should match its predecessor's excellent reliability. The Superb is the first Skoda to be based on the VW Group's modular MQB platform, which brings with it the benefits of producing components and engines on a huge scale. Because it shares many of its mechanicals with other models throughout the seat, VW, and Audi ranges you can rest assured that any deficiencies have been ironed out by now. The previous generation Superb came an impressive 12th overall in our 2015 Driver Power Customer Satisfaction Survey with a score of 94.5%, and there's no reason to doubt this new model won't be better still once it makes it into the survey. The new Superb is also without a doubt the most technologically advanced and safest Skoda ever built, with a vast range of crash prevention systems. This resulted in a strong 5-star performance in the Euro NCAP crash tests, when adult and child occupant protection were both awarded an 86-percenter rating. The Superb's roster of available safety features include blind spot detection, to prevent you changing lanes when another car is in the danger zone, and lane assist, which nudges the steering wheel automatically to keep you within the white lines demarking your lane.
Lane Assist also works with the adaptive cruise control system for the traffic jam assist function that accelerates, brakes, and steers the car for you in jams. Rear traffic alert first warns you, then brakes the car if something is headed your way when you're reversing out of a parking bay. You can also get Skoda's crew safety system which closes windows and tightens belts if an imminent disaster is predicted. Warranty All Superbs come with a 3-year warranty but unfortunately in common with VW Group Stablemate Audi the cover is capped at 60,000 miles. That sort of mileage will be covered easily by many of the big Skoda's fleet users, but an extension to 5 years or 100,000 miles will cost £630. Servicing It costs £139 for an intermediate, 10,000 mile, and £259 for a full, 20,000 mile, service at your local Skoda dealer, which is competitive. Alternatively you can opt for one of the manufacturer's fixed price service plans, starting at £479 for 3 years slash 30,000 miles.